up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are taking on Terradome ex1 today and it is probably the hardest of all three of these dungeons it is really really hard um but before we do that i just want to say a massive thank you to three guys from my guild and um, we've got shugs hex and apocalypse without these guys we would still be stuck struggling so we need to say a massive thank you to these guys because without the advice they gave me, we would not be able to take this on. So we, sh you know, we're going to do this live. Um, just need to change a few things. Going to take out Randall because he's doing. He is so weak, and we're going to bring in Rakana instead, who should be a way way better option. Uh, we've got Samuel, um, Corexia as our assassins. Then we've got Orthan as our tank, and then Serena. As our healer um we're using um, hagridon as our commander when you can do more damage you can bring in gable but the moment we need to use hagridon because we need that survivability it doesn't matter how much damage you do if you die and you're not alive it doesn't matter so yeah definitely want to take survivability over damage uh, then we use praying eyes um this is insane it's going to increase uh, the uh, attack by 26% for our assassins. Great prototype. Uh, Company of Heroes, probably my favorite for tanks. Uh, it, you know, it's going to heal them. It's going to help them do some sick damage. It's, it's a no-brainer for me. And then we've got Flashpoint, which is great for supports that are heal. So let's just go straight for it, boys. I'm hoping it's an easy fight. Um, so um, Argon is so hard on EX1. Um, and apparently one of the reasons that um, Randall sucks is that because he uses his displacement outside the circle, it reduces the damage that he does. So it doesn't really help us. And if we switch this back on, let's see what the numbers are. Yeah, Randall was nowhere near doing the same kind of damage that uh, Rakana was doing, which is great. In fact, Rakana... Is it a boy? Is it a girl? I'm not sure. But they are out damaging. Well, they were out damaging Corexia. But yeah, he's, yeah, what a better option. I'm so glad I switched him out. Definitely worth investing in. And let's just have a look. So Samuel is uh, Mythic plus two. Orthan is uh, Legendary plus two. Rakana is Immortal plus two. Uh, Corexia is Epic plus one. And then Serena at immortal plus three but yeah we seem to be doing this pretty comfortably and bringing in rakana was the smart move wow I'm, I'm guessing it's a guy he is doing some some damage like like randall was like an eight mil around here so yeah that's making a big big difference um i guess one thing for me is though is that you can see like triple s heroes and obviously sp obviously sp heroes are going to do way way better because they're the best in the game but i the next time there's an event that comes up i need to grab myself a third triple s um assassin just so that i can beat argon like you know i want to progress into ex3 because the rewards are so good and so much better um so it's going to make a big big difference to the account um, and also you can pick up new prototypes and there's one that will increase the damage that your summoners do, which is obviously summoners being like the best in the game. It's just going to be broken as anything. So definitely need to make sure I can get my hands on that. And we're doing this pretty comfortably. No one's dead. We're at 30%. Serena's going to heal everyone up here. And we've got, well, three damage dealers to take out these bombs. Are oh, easy peasy. Yeah. This is just making light work of this. And I don't know if anyone else knows, but these little guys look like Gollum from, uh, if anyone's ever played Pokemon, uh, it looks like, looks like exactly like Gollum. But yeah, so one minute and 11 seconds to go. Boss is down to 30% HP. And we should be able to just drop him. Come on, guys. Hang in there. Rakana's going to tank this one. Luckily, it did no damage. Uh, come on. Almost there now. Samuel's down. 
Um, one of the great things about having Orthan though is he can revive. So he he might have already revived something. I don't know. I didn't I didn't see if he dropped before, but maybe he did. But we're gonna do this. It's obviously it's not gonna be the smoothest run. Uh, my account's still it's, we're still in the early days. But there we go. The disrespect is real. Sit down. Nice. So yeah, definitely go back to that and pick up some more. But we just click here. You can see the prototype I was talking about. Equalizer. Damage received by summoners is distributed evenly to summons 20%. I mean, that is just crazy. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. So let's come out and check the builds. And we'll start off with Ulthan, who is in three pieces Vigorious. We got HP on the gloves, HP on the helmet, and damage reduction on the boots. Uh, substats, we're just going for HP and accuracy. Obviously, accuracy is not going to help with the boss, but it is good for waves and PvP. Uh, 1.2 mil HP. What a whopper. Uh, and then we've got 45% damage reduction as well. Um, exclusive is only at 20. I definitely need to sort of push that down a little bit. Uh, talents, not quite there yet because he's not. Um, we need to get a few more evolutions on him. And then we've got Serena. Um, this chick is not garbage. Do not feed her. I made a massive mistake early game. I don't know, she just looks like a basic beekeeper to me, and I fed her. Big mistake. So we're going for Abundant. Abundant is great because it's going to help with healing. Um, Guardian's Armor, oh, sorry, Steady. It increases your defense. Not the best gear set, um, but <laughs> I've only got so much Vigorious on, the, on the, the account, so we had to go with that instead. HP on the gloves, HP on the chest, uh, on the helmet even, and then 32%. HP uh, defense on the boots, um, 729k HP, 3.8k defense, and then 11% damage reduction. Probably should swap these boots out for damage reduction if we can. Um, plus 14 on the exclusive. I think we yeah we've got full talents and we're sort of working our way through here as well. Rakana, you absolute beast. I slept on this guy. I think it's because he needs a skin rework. I've never seen anyone that looks, he just looks trash. Just awful, awful design. Really, really colorful. I don't know, just not a fan. Like a parrot crossed with a lizard. Um, yeah, needs a reskin, just looks terrible. Um, yeah, and I had this gear on my Randall and Randall was probably doing like four times at the least, like less damage, crazy. Um, so 20k attack, 65% crit rate, and 64% crit damage. Uh, substats, of course, we're looking for crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Attack speed would be nice as well. Uh, crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the helmet, and then attack percentage on the boots. His exclusive is not even plus, like, leveled out at all. On Randall, I did waste a lot on his exclusive. Again, big mistake. I think at least I had him to level 20. Um, and yeah, we've we've put a load into his masteries. Definitely worth. And then we're coming down to Samuel. Again, he's in a uh, Marauders um, set as well. And then we've got Overload as well for extra crit damage. We had to go crit rate on the gloves. You always want to go crit damage if you can. But... There's no point in having like 100 crit damage and then like 10 crit rate. You're not going to benefit from it. So when you're sort of lower down in the game, go for crit rate. And then later on, when you get more crit rate in the sub rolls, then pick up uh, then pick up some crit damage gloves. So 14k attack, 68% crit rate, and then 51% crit damage. I mean, as you saw, he was doing a lot of damage. So it's fine. And then last but not least, Quaraxia. And again, another one in Marauder set. And then we've also got Sug Signet to get that crit rate. Um, crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the helm, and then attack percentage on the boots. 
18k attack, um, 36% crit rate. It's a little bit low, to be honest. Maybe I should swap them out for some uh, crit rate gloves and then 76% crit damage. Um, so yeah, pretty nice. Just got her exclusive. Oh yeah, I definitely want to pump some points into that. Um, and yeah, need some work done on the talents as well. Do you know what? While we're here, why not? Let's uh, give her a bit of extra survivability. And we've got one potential as well. Nice. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this helps you guys beat that pesky... Uh, what boss is it again? Argon. That pesky Argon. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.